Did we forget to buy breadcrumbs yesterday? What? Did we forget to buy breadcrumbs at the market yesterday? Breadcrumbs? Yeah, we need them for the buffalo chicken tomorrow night. Michael Corleone and Enzo the baker just saved Don Corleone from Barzini's hitman at the hospital? And you want to know if we bought breadcrumbs? Jerry and Kate are coming for dinner tomorrow night. I just want to know if I need to make another trip to the store. Okay, uh, this is a pivotal point in one of the greatest films ever made. I know, but... This moment marks the beginning of Michael's transformation from clean-cut college kid and war hero to the new Don. I'm sorry. Rather than make a mental note and save it for later, you pick the most sublime moment of cinematic genius in the entire film to worry about breadcrumbs? I'm sorry. I mean, did you even notice Enzo's hand trembling when he's trying to light his cigarette? Which one is Enzo? God, were you paying attention at all? Wait, he's the Italian guy, right? Okay, obviously I made a big mistake thinking that you would appreciate this work of cinematic genius. Don't be such a damn snob. I'm sorry, but can, can we make a rule from now on? A rule? Yeah, just... You want to make a rule? One simple rule. From now on, whenever we're watching cinema, we refrain from banal reminders of any kind for the duration of the film. Banal reminders. Chores that need to be done, bills that need to be paid, groceries that need to be bought. Durante il film? Durante il film? You're speaking Italian now? Who are you, Fellini? I just think that and we should... And let me guess, who gets to decide if what we're watching qualifies as cinema? I don't talk over your movies. You're always complaining about the, the cinematography, the lighting, the soundtrack, the acting. I guess we just have different standards. Listen, a brief reminder about breadcrumbs is a breath of fresh air compared to your crabby catalog of criticisms. I am not crabby. You are so crabby. Okay, well, how about this then? You watch your movies and I'll watch mine. <laughs> free at last. Lord God Almighty, free at last. Well, you don't have to be Are so sarcastic. Are you really letting me out of Criterion Collection jail, Mr. Stuffy Pants? Yeah, and I'm going to pour myself another drink to celebrate never having to watch another lame Hugh Grant movie as long as I live. Hugh Grant is a great actor who works very hard at his craft. He just happens to be charming which makes insecure men jealous. Oh, so I'm insecure? Are you jealous? <laughs> who wouldn't be jealous of a rich limey who cruises Sunset Boulevard for $20 skanks? I knew you'd bring that up. Like you'd let me get away with something like that? You don't have the charm to pull it off. Yeah, well, at least I'd spend a few extra bucks to avoid catching the clap. You know, your hero Fellini has made a career out of movies about prostitutes, and you want to go all moral majority on Hugh Grant? <laughs> Excuse me. But did you just use the name Hugh Grant in the same sentence as Fellini? That's right. And Hugh Grant wasn't all pretentious about it, making ponderous three-hour epics about hookers with hearts of gold. Are you? Are you referring to Knights of Cabiria? Whatever that boring movie was. Okay. Okay, Michelle, I have tried. I have really tried, but... But what? 
You think of breadcrumbs when Michael and Enzo saved the dawn of the hospital? You drag Fellini down into the Hollywood slime with Hugh Grant? And now you're trashing a world-renowned masterpiece? So call the World Cinema SWAT team. I don't know. I think this comes under the heading of irreconcilable aesthetic differences. What are you saying? I'm saying... I think we might need professional help. Professional help? Michelle, will you take a film history course with me? What? A, a film history course. There's a really good one at City College. We can just... Oh, get the fuck out of here. Guinea Hood's locked up. What the hell are you doing here? What happened to the men who were guarding my father, Captain? Why, you little punk. What the hell are you doing telling me my business? 